Okay, this is another video on how can you generate PowerPoint presentations using free AI tools. Today I will show you one tool which is absolutely for free and it's open source using which how can we generate PowerPoint presentations. At the end of the video, you will be able to produce this type of PowerPoint presentations which will be detailed and you can also further work on it to make it a comprehensive one. This type of stunning PowerPoint presentations can be generated using a combination of AI and few of the tricks. So currently I'm in Google homepage and if I just paste this particular link here that is chat.mistral.ai and then we'll be able to see this type of interface. This is the login page. They have few of the options using which you can authenticate. What I'll do, I'll select the Google one and I'll authenticate myself. I already created one of my ID using that ID to log in into this tool. Currently I'm inside Mistral AI console. And here, this is again a clean interface and only one option is there that is to write your prompt here. And here by clicking on this drop down, you'll be able to select the model you want to use. What I'll do, I'll continue with Mistral Large 2. That's the best model available as of now. And we'll continue with this model during this presentation. So let me come back by clicking on this arrow. And now if I paste one prompt, which normally I use to generate any of the PowerPoint presentations so that all of you can understand different capabilities between multiple different tools. When I'm using same prompt, it will be easier to compare, right? So let me paste it here. So this is the prompt I'm going to use to generate our PowerPoint presentation. So let me show you one option first that I'm asking this PowerPoint presentations to be created and then see how this tool responds. And after that, I will show you two different methods using which you'll be able to generate the PowerPoint presentation as per your requirement. So if I hit enter, now it will start working. And currently you can see it's giving me the outline that slide number one, slide number two, what will be the heading, what will be the content, everything it's generating one by one. So this is quite detailed one and it is generating the content for us, but it is not generating the direct PowerPoint presentation in PPTX format. So for that, we need to prompt and reprompt and we need to get the output in a different way and then we'll be able to produce that PowerPoint presentation. Let me show you. Now, this is the content it generated. After that, if I ask this question, can you generate the actual presentation in PPTX format for me? And let's see what is the response comes. Yes, it's saying that I'm unable to create or generate files directly. And it is giving me those details again. So this is the same structure and content it is generating. So which means that Mistral AI also cannot generate a PowerPoint file directly. So we need to utilize some other methods. So first one I will show you that is the VBA method. What I'll do, I'll ask Mistral AI to generate VBA code so that using which I'll be able to generate PowerPoint presentation. So this is the prompt I'm going to use and let me hit enter. So now you can see, yeah, suddenly below is the VBA code and it started generating the VBA code. So once the VBA code will be generated, we will open PowerPoint and we'll use this VBA code to generate a PowerPoint presentation. And I'll also show you some of the other options. How can you beautify your slides? Now that VBA code generation has been completed, it took nearly a minute to generate the entire content and now what I can do, I'll come up here and I'll copy this entire text so that entire code will get copied. You can see code copied to clipboard. Now I'll open PowerPoint and from there, once the PowerPoint will get initiated, then we'll open a blank presentation. If I double click here, a blank presentation will open. And here I need to do only one thing. I'll use the key combination Alt F11 and this will invoke the VBA console. So once the VBA console will open, you just need to go here. You need to right click, you need to click on insert and then a module. And there you just need to paste that code. After that, just click on run and then either it should generate the presentation or it will throw an error which we may need to debug. So let me click on run. Now we can see it generated the PowerPoint presentations using the VBA code. However, this particular presentation doesn't look promising, right? So there is no design, nothing. So what we can do, very simple task, we can go to design, we can use any of the template and we just need to select that template which we are planning to use. And then you can see the design of all slides got changed. Now the second thing is, while you are applying design from these templates, it will change the design of entire slide pack. Now, if you want to change any specific slide, if you click on that, then 
this designer also will pop up in right pane and there you will be able to select a separate design so using the designer template you can change the entire thing and if you want to change any specific slide you can just click on that and it will generate multiple different options here which you can select from here if you are not happy with any of these designs then you can just come down and you can click on see more design ideas and it will start pulling out more designs here so this is the way you will be able to generate your content using a free open source LLA model that is Mistral AI and then using the VBA code you will be able to produce this presentation. During this particular method in case you get any error in this VBA code just copy that specific line where you are getting that error and you come back to that LLM model that Mistral AI model and there you mentioned I'm getting error on this specific line please regenerate the code for me which I can use. Then Mistral AI will regenerate the code for you and you will be able to utilize that clean code. So this is the first method using VBA code. How can you generate PowerPoint presentation using a free open source tool? Now let's talk about the second method. Here also we'll be utilizing the same Mistral AI LLM model. Okay, we talked about the first method. Now we are going to start the second one. But before that, I'm in process to record one comprehensive course on chat GPT Google Gemini and Microsoft Copilot. We'll also include Mistral AI and Claude there and it will be a comprehensive course. If you want to get a 70% discount once the course will be launched, please fill out the form link which I added in the description below to enjoy that 70% coupon code. I'll be sending that code to your email ID once the course will be launched. So now let's try the next method. Now I'm back to Mistral AI console and here what I'll do, I'll click on this icon and I'll go to a new chat and then let me paste the same prompt again. Please help me to generate this PowerPoint presentation and it will generate the content for me. I'm not using the earlier thread to avoid any kind of confusion related to VBA code and other things. Now it is generating the content for me another time because this is a free tool. So there is no limitation. You can regenerate your content n number of times. So this is the way it's now generating and this is coming up with all those slide outline. And now this is generated. Now let me show you the next trick. If I paste this particular prompt here, I would like to import this text as outline using PowerPoint. Give me the output in a supported format which can be imported as an outline file and then I'll hit enter. What it will do, it will generate an outline file which we'll be using inside PowerPoint to generate our slides. Now let's see what's generating. You can see it's producing the content in this outline format and then once this will be done, then we'll take our next action. Okay, now it's generated and it's asking that, okay, you save this file as a TXT file. So what I'll do, I'll go to this code, I'll copy from here, I'll open notepad and there I'll paste this entire content. I'll save it as PPT outline and I'll save it as a text file. Now this particular content has been saved. So what I'll do now, I'll go back to my PowerPoint presentation. I'll click on a new presentation and then again, I will have this blank slide. I'll go to home. I'll click on new slides and there I'll click on this particular option slides from outline. And then what I'll do, I will choose this one. This one we created just today, right? And I'll click on insert. And let's see what happens. You can see it is generating multiple different slides where in each slide only one line is there, which we are not looking for. And it generated some 63 slides. So what I'll do, I'll go back to Mistral AI and I'll reprompt. What I'm writing here, this outline file is generating 63 different slides and adding only one line in each of the slides. Please correct this issue and give me a revised outline file. And let me hit enter. It is regenerating the content for us. Let's see what it generates and if that particular file works out for us or not. Okay, it regenerated the file. What I'll do, I'll copy this one and I'll open notepad again. I'll paste this new content and I'll save it. Now this time as PPT outline maybe two and then I'll save it. So this is saved. Again, I'll go back to PowerPoint. I'll open a new slide and there I'll go to home. I'll click on new slide. I'll click on slides from outline and I'll select this new file that is outline two and I'll click on insert. Now you can see it generated 11 slides, actually 10 slides. And in every slide, there are contents in right way. And now what we'll do, we'll just delete the first slide 
and then we'll go to design again and we'll select any of the other template and our slides will be ready and in the similar way we'll be able to change any of the content inside any of the slide as per the requirement. So these are the two methods using which you will be able to generate PowerPoint presentations. During this entire process, the first one and second one, if you face any issue or any kind of error, just try to reprompt in Mr. AI and mention this is the problem you're facing. Try it in proper English in a, in a detailed way and it will regenerate the content for you. Like in the second time when I was producing this particular PowerPoint, it was creating multiple different slides, right? And sometime you may need to prompt, reprompt for a couple of more times, it can happen. Earlier when I was recording another video, using in Claude in a similar method, I faced a couple of issues and on that time it was related to VBA. Now this is the way you need to troubleshoot any kind of issue if you are facing but it will be a rewarding learning journey I would say. So try out these methods and let me know in the comments below what's your feedback. Is it working for you, not working? In case you have any questions, I'll try to respond to those as soon as I can. Hopefully you'll be able to utilize this method and it will help you to save some time during your PowerPoint creation process. If you want to understand how can you generate multiple PowerPoint presentations on bulk using Canva and ChatGPT, then check out this video to know everything about it.